Let's talk about age. Before I, everyone's going to look at that and ignore the. Uh, <laughs> so, at what age do men have the most access to the most desired women? Uh, who put A, 18 to 24? All right. Who put B, 25 to 32? That's kind of the stumper there. Who put C, 33 to 40? And who put D, 41 to 49? Did anyone put 50 plus? That's fine. You never know. <laughs> All right, cool. So obviously the answer is C, 33 to 40. Um, I don't know where I found this graph, but this graph is fucking hilarious and I love it. So it, female access to dick versus male access to poon by age. For anyone that doesn't know poon, that's slang for pussy. Um, I'm not the biggest fan about how kind of um, surface level this graph is, but it illustrates a, a good point. So on the x-axis, you have age, goes from 15 to 49. On the y-axis, you have access, 10 being highest access, 0 being there. So for women, what you see, they call it the slut zone because they have the most access to dick during this, this age, right? Starting at 15, she's already pretty high. She's developed. She's looking like a woman already. Um, guys are, you know, attracted to her. When she gets to, looks, looks like 20, from the age of 20 to 24, that is the peak of her beauty, right? Her skin is perfect. She's young. She's fit. Whatever. Every this is just measuring, you know, surface level beauty, but. That's what we see first off, right? That is the peak of her attractiveness. So if you want to date a girl 20 to 24 and she's a smoke show, odds are she's being flown all around the world by old rich dudes with money. She's got options to date guys from all walks of life. Uh, she has ultimate access. But as a guy, and this is a tough thing, right? When I first started getting into this stuff, I was 22. I was just graduating college, right? And where are you at 22 as a dude? You're way down here. You're like 4.2, 4.3. So, you know, the, the girls your age, you're wondering, like, why, why am I having such, such a hard time with these really hot girls? And that's because, you know, as a guy who's 22, what do you have going? You're just out of college, right? You don't really know what you're doing with your life. You're not settled. You're probably figuring out, like, you know, where you want to live. You're probably guzzling beer, doing keg stands. That's the sort of nonsense I was doing. <laughs> um, there's a lot of guys who look young in here that are way more advanced, which is awesome. But you're just on a different track, right? And we're measured, you know, our access to, to women is not necessarily measured by how we look. Looks can play a little bit of a factor, but it's more measured by our overall attractiveness as a man, what we have going for us, right? So it's not until you hit this age of 33, and I'm 34, and I do so much better now than I did even two years ago at 32, right? Because when you get to 34, you usually have a career figured out, you have some money in the bank, you've studied, you have a breadth of knowledge, uh, you're more confident in yourself, hopefully you're in good shape, right? A guy at 33, you're, you know, you're going to look great. You're not going to look any worse than you looked at 26 or 27. You're going to look fucking awesome. What's lucky for us is we age a little bit better than women. As we get older, we still look good. Look at George Clooney, Brad Pitt. Those guys are in their early 50s, and they look amazing. Look at the sexiest man of the year every year. When's the last time that guy was under even like 35? I don't know, but I would guess it hasn't happened very often. Right? So we get better with age. What a lot of happens here is there's this marriage zone. So right when you hit 26, 27, we, uh, females access, they realize that you know, their looks are declining, their biological clock is kicking in, they want to have a family and kids, look to get married. And as a guy, you're finally starting to get some money in the bank. You're starting to feel a little bit more accomplished, um, like you kind of have the you know, earth under your feet, and you get married. Uh, and that can be great, but what, what do we see happen with a lot of marriages? Guys get a little older, they start getting money in the bank, and they're like, God damn, I got all these options. All the secretaries at work are hitting on you. That leads to cheating, infidelity, marriages falling apart. And I think this graph has a lot to do with that. So 
just keep in mind, <laughs> if you want to have fun, you know, I'm not saying go out there and be a player, but you've got from 33 until 44 where you're at the peak, where you can attract basically whoever you want. So there's no rush. If you're 25 and you're not crushing it yet, there's a reason for that. And it just mostly has to do with your age. It has to do with the fact that you're, you have so much more room to grow as a man.